Roman's study was a haven of memories, a place filled with dusty old books, photos from forgotten eras, and trinkets that spoke volumes of adventures past. But as Roman rummaged through the drawers, what he sought wasn't a token of nostalgia, but something far more tangible. With a soft click, a drawer opened to reveal a gleaming pistol. He stared at it for a beat, the weight of memories pulling him back. You gotta protect her, Roman, a gruff voice echoed in his mind. It was Frankie, his longtime friend and confidant. They were in this very study years ago, following an incident that had shaken Roman to his core. Roman's face darkened as he recalled that evening, the unsettling knock on the door, the masked figure demanding valuables, and Julia's scream, piercing the night. Frankie, ever the pragmatist, had handed him the gun afterward. Hope you never have to use it, he'd said. But if push comes to shove, it's better to have it and not need it. Roman had hoped he'd never have to revisit that decision. But the world wasn't always kind to hopeful men. He gently took the pistol, tucking it into a discreet compartment in his bag. The landline rang, disrupting his thoughts. Roman answered, recognizing the voice on the other end immediately. Dad, you guys all packed and ready? Roman smirked, glancing at the gun. More or less, you know me always packing. A brief pause. Uh, packing. Books and stuff, right? Why, what else would I be talking about? Roman teased, the playful tone not quite masking the truth beneath. A heavy sigh from the other end. Just, be careful, okay? Both of you. Always, um, son. The call ended, leaving Roman alone with his thoughts and preparations. Safety was a double-edged sword. It promised protection, but came with its own set of chains. And Roman, ever the protector, bore those chains willingly. For Julia. For himself. <laughs>